Empirical provide compelling, interactive learning across a range of delivery options. Live on site, live online or online anytime, we have a training course that is ideal for you. For a no obligations chat about your training requirements, contact us at empirical.com. We take you for granted that whether we're at home, in the office or on holiday, that we'll always have access to Wi-Fi. However, it's becoming increasingly more common now to find that we also have access to Wi-Fi as we are physically moving. Hence, in this video, we're going to look at how Wi-Fi operates on planes, trains and automobiles. So to begin with then, let's just focus on how we get access to Wi-Fi whilst we're travelling on an aeroplane. Well, here we can see then that fundamentally it'll work in the same principle as we connect to Wi-Fi whilst we're at home. In this case, however, the access point or the Wi-Fi base station will actually be inside the aircraft itself and will connect to it in much the same way as we do at home or in the office. Therefore, how do we actually get the information off the aeroplane back down onto the ground and over to the internet? Well, typically this will be done by using a satellite and we will offload that information via the aircraft up to the satellite and then down to our ground stations. So we can see here that we will remain connected to the same Wi-Fi access point for the full duration of the flight. In other words, there'll be no mobility or handovers taking place from access point to access point. All that mobility will be dealt with via the aircraft and the satellite link. Now, in other countries such as North America, we can also get that information off the aeroplane directly down to the ground. And companies such as GoGo actually pioneer some of these sort of services. Clearly, though, this is only really available whilst we're flying across mainland countries. So then, turning our attention to Wi-Fi on trains, well, again, fundamentally, it operates on the same principle. There will be an access point sitting inside the train, or more commonly, in each of the individual carriages. And it's to this access point that we will associate or connect. So the question once again is, how do we get the traffic off the actual train out onto the internet? Well, in this situation, we will typically use the existing cellular technologies, be that GPRS for our 2G system, UMTS for 3G, or more commonly now, our 4G LTE network. And sitting inside our trains, they will typically have SIM cards for a number of the different service providers, thereby increasing the capacity or selecting whichever service provider gives you the best coverage in the position the train finds itself. Finally then, Wi-Fi on automobiles, again, is almost identical to that of trains. Here we're also going to be actually offloading our traffic onto the existing cellular technologies. We find this not only in coaches, as we can see here on the diagram, but also, again, more commonly built into cars. So the number of passengers now can all share the same internet connection. But the connection from the car is, again, typically via the cellular technology. Finally, uh, technologies such as MiFi, our own personal little Wi-Fi hotspots, again, use the same principle. Wi-Fi between the actual smartphone and the tablet to our MiFi device and then using the cellular technology to offload it out onto the internet. Need to know more? Why not visit our store where you can choose from over 200 hours of video-based training? Alternatively, you can contact us to discuss any specific training requirements you may have.